Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. The classic model of scientific inquiry derives from Aristotle, who distinguished forms of approximate and exact reasoning. Setting out the threefold scheme of abductive, logic, inductive, proposed assumption to a conclusion, and inductive, generalization, inference. Treating combined forms, such as reasoning by analogy, similarity. Pragmatic model. In 1877 Charles Sanders Peirce characterized inquiry as not a pursuit of truth. He considered it as the struggle to move from irritating, restraining doubts, born of surprises, disagreements, and to reach a belief on which one is prepared to act. He framed scientific inquiry as a part of a broader array of varied but related ideas that goads and urges like general inquiry. He held mere verbal and exaggerated doubt as fruitless, and outlined four methods for settling opinions that he ordered from least to most successful. The method of tenacity. This method has a policy of sticking to initial beliefs, which leads to comfort, and is decisive, but also ignores contrary information and others' views. Leading to believe that truth is actually naturally private and not public. It goes against the social influence and usually falters when it is easy to tell that another person's opinion is genuinely as good as one's own opinion. Its successes can shine but usually doesn't endure for any significant amount of time in history. The method of authority. This method sometimes overcomes disagreements brutally with lofty success, but cannot work thoroughly enough to suppress doubts that are learned. Learned when discovering different societies from both the past and present. The method of the priory. This method supports conformity with less brutality than the method of authority, but fosters the idea that opinions are something of tastes. It makes comparisons of perspectives in terms of what is agreeable to reason. It is based and dependent upon fashion of molds and standards with a specific theme and a framework consisting of basic assumptions on ways of thinking according to methodology. The scientific method, this method purposefully considers itself fallible and tests, criticizes, corrects and improves itself. Peirce held that the slow and stumbling process of reasoning can be inferior to instinct and traditional sentiment in practical matters. The scientific method to Peirce should be suited to theoretical research and shouldn't be hindered by the other methods and practical ends. Reason's first rule is that in order for someone to learn he must first want to learn, and proposed conclusions should not hinder inquiry. The scientific method is by far the most secure method, because it was deliberately designed to eventually arrive at the, the most secure belief on which the most successful practices can be based. Starting of course with the idea that people did not really search for truth, but the ability to subdue irritating and hindering doubts. Pierce showed that through struggle people can submit to truth for the sake of the integrity of beliefs. Seek as truth the guidance of potential practice correctly to its goal, and uniting themselves to the scientific method. For Pierce rational inquiry represented presumption, or an assumption beforehand, an antecedent condition that takes for granted truth, and the real in advance. To reason is to assume, and at least to hope, as a principle of the reasoner's independent control that the real is discovered, and the independence of our unpredictable and erratic opinions. In this system he defined truths as an exchange offered and suggested for consideration to its form. Doing this from a practical point of view and consideration, with reference to their causes, antecedent conditions, and results. Without or not as actual majority opinion of some definite finite community, which suggests that to inquire is to poll the experts. Instead though as final opinion that all who investigate would eventually reach, if researched far enough, and even from different starting points. As one following the other purse defined the real as the true indication visible, rather it is a possibility, quality, actuality, brute fact, necessity, norm or law.
independent of majority opinion, and dependent only on the final opinion discovered through sufficient investigation and research. Do the science, concepts of truth and real involve a community without definite limits, but with self-correcting as needed and definite increase of knowledge. As the process of arriving at some logical conclusion, logic is rooted in the social principle, since it stands on a dependence that is unlimited. Inference, paying attention to all the historical explanations before, Peirce outlined scientific method into three kinds of inference, and in a purposeful cycle to settle doubts. These three inferences are abductive, retroductive, deductive, consisting of two stages, and inductive. Abductive, retroduction, guessing the processes to arrive at a conclusion or proposition through explanatory hypothesis, for the best selection worthy of trying. From abduction Peirce distinguishes induction as the process to arrive at a conclusion or proposition, using tests as the proportion of truth in the hypothesis. Every inquiry even ones that are underway, and at any stage of the inquiry, arises from surprising observations in one or more of these realms, whether it be ideas, brute facts, norms or laws. All explanatory content from theories come from abductive, which guesses a new outside idea to account for in a simple unextravagant way a surprising or complicated phenomena. Often though even a well-prepared mind guesses wrong, but the moderate success of guesses far exceed that of sheer luck, seeming to be in harmony with nature through instincts that are developed or infixed, especially since best guesses seem to have the appearance of truth and reason, credible and worthy of approval in the simplest of the sense. Moving, acting, working with ease and sometimes with superficiality, unconstrained, easily done and natural. Galileo's natural light of reason, and as distinct as logical simplicity. Abduction is the most fertile yet insecure mode of inference, but its general rational thought is inductive. Without it there is no hope of sufficiently speeding up investigation of new truths, and it works often enough to do so. Coordinative method leads to taking away a plausible hypothesis to judge it for its ability to be tested, and how its trial would conserve inquiry itself. Peirce calls his system of practical consequences the logic of induction, and his maxim is, consider what effects that might conceivably have practical bearings you conceive the objects of your conception to have. Then, your conception of those effects is the whole of your conception of the object, his logic of induction is a method of reducing conceptual confusions beneficially by equating the meaning of any conception with the conceivable practical implications of its object's conceived effects. A method of experimental mental reflection open to forming hypothesis and favorable to testing them with efficiency. A hypothesis are with doubt and needs to have practical implications lead to at least mental test, which later with science must lead to scientific tests also. A simple but unlikely guess if uncostly to test for falsity, may belong first in line for testing. A guess is by nature worth testing if it has instinctively plausibility or reasoned objective probability, while subjective probability even though reasoned can be misleadingly seductive. Guesses can be chosen for trial strategically for their caution, freedom of restraint, and simplicity. One could hope to only discover that which time would reveal through sufficient experience anyhow. So the point is to speed the process, because the management of resources in research is what demands the leap of abduction, and governs its art. Deduction, two stages, explication. Unclearly a proposition to support or help to support a conclusion, but deductive analysis of the hypothesis in order to render its part as clear as possible. Demonstration, deductive reasoning and Euclidean in procedure with explicit deduction of hypothesis effect as predictions for induction to test about evidence to be found. A proposition that is incidentally proved by proving another proposition, an immediate consequence or easily drawn conclusion, a natural consequence or result, if need be a proposition that can be deduced from the premises or deduction of a system. 
Induction. The long-run validity of the rule of induction is deducible from the principle and supposes or assumes beforehand. Taking reality for granted in advance, and in general, believing that the real is only the object of the final opinion to which adequate investigation leads to. Anything which no process would lead to is not real. Induction involving ongoing tests or observations follow a method, which if persistently followed will diminish its error below any degree beforehand. There are three stages which are, classification, unclearly a proposition to support or help to support a conclusion, but inductive classing of objects of experience under general ideas. Probation, direct inductive reasoning with crude catalogue, and lists, or gradual new estimate of proportion of truth in the hypothesis after each test. Gradual induction is concerned with qualities and dependent on the weighting's qualities or characters, or estimated and measured by quantity and dependent on measurements, statistics, or countings. Sentential induction. By inductive reasonings it appraises probations separately than their combinations, and also appraises these appraisals with self-appraisals to pass final judgment of the whole result. Frequently the scientific method is used not by only single persons, but several, and not only cooperating directly, but indirectly also. Within such an environment various techniques have been developed to ensure the integrity of the scientific methodology such cooperation can be regarded as one of the most defining elements of a scientific community. This is brought to you by The Praetorian. On both YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Inker. Breaker. Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon. Check out our Discord server too. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.